Chips. Chips. Me. 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 Run away. Run away. There you go. Penang way. Penang way, St. Cuthbert's way. St. Cuthbert's way, Elton Burn. Right, roll that in, roll. So, I don't know if you can see, can you see that? Sort of. By the stones on the top of there. I don't know whether to go up there and come there. I think I don't know if that's either in Bell up there. But I ain't going up there today. Or whether to continue on heading towards the shell to that spot I found last time, which was lush. I meant to mind. I don't know if you guys ever end up like this when you're out. Do I go up there? And chance that's a great view to the east and the west. So I see a sunrise and a sunset. Or do I stick with my first plan and go where I know there's an amazing spot? Now the point is, isn't it? If you stick with the places you know, you're never going to find new places. But if I go all the way over there, it's not as nice as the place I've been. I'm going to be disappointed. Oh, decisions, decisions. Right. I want a little thing to get the top of here and have a look. Right. That's where I camped last time. When I was on the storms. That's the view, look. Bit misty, you can't see that far today. Still nice, though, isn't it? It's been up here, listen, the breeze and the bird song. Isn't that lovely? So, I'm gonna head up there, and where that wall goes up and hits that ridge, that's the Pennine Way. And then you veer off left, up towards the shill. And that's where I turned and went up there. But I'm also a little bit intrigued because I would like to know what the views are like from over there. Looking east, see if we can get a nice sunrise. So I might go over there. So there's sort of paths, if you like, going up there along there to there and then I can either see what's over there and come somewhere here or I'll go along the ridge and come there I think I'll have a little wander because it's only what 10 to 7 I've got another good couple of hours nearly 3 hours of daylight Plenty of time. I imagine going up there and back around there. What an hour at the most. So, plenty of time, as I say. And then you never know, we might find a nice pitch over there somewhere. Right, so I've come on the side of that hill. And this is sort of facing east. So you head up there. I'm going to pen way towards Windy Gale. I mean, it was the shell. A two mile away to the shell, maybe. And then that's heading west. That mound there, that's where I well camped last time. I'm spoiled for choices, really. You know, I don't know whether to just camp there. Or 
come here and see if I can get a sunset and a sunrise. Not sure what to do. It's worth for choices. Come on. Come on, Phil. Make a choice. Look at it, man. You could just come anywhere, couldn't you? It's just, that looks nice, that looks nice, that looks nice, that looks nice. What I like about that is as well, the sort of out the way behind the wall. Whereas here, I know it sounds mental, but you're like right in the open, aren't you? Like, but then again, look at all the people. <laughs> but we are on the Pennine Way. But, can you see anyone? Not a soul. Right, decision made. Found a spot, and this is where we're going to stay for the night. Hopefully, we'll see a sunset and we'll see a sunrise. It's bonuses if we do, if we don't, we'll still have a lovely night. So, I'll show you around. So, there you go, we're just on the moor. That's where I camped. Over there behind the wall, last time I came up here. Hopefully, see the sun go down there. And hopefully, we'll see the sunrise over there. Beautiful. I know I keep saying it, everybody flocks to the Lake District. It is beautiful there. So is the Highlands of Scotland, but come on, guys. Not too bad up here, is it? But mine. Let's keep it a secret, eh? <laughs> we don't want everybody coming up here. Lush. Lush. So, still a little bit early. Not that I think anyone's going to come up here now. Not even a farmer. There's no livestock in the field or nothing. So, I don't know. I just... I think I'm just going to chill, just sit for a bit, and then put the tent up, there's no rush. You know, when it's as warm as this and it's lovely and just basking in the sun, just enjoy it, enjoy the moment. <laughs> up home for the night a quick look yeah I know how the our us wild cameras like to talk about with setups so I'll see cloud peak two by nature hike got my drone got my chest rig that has my GoPro and all that in there's me rook under there my rab jacket, which I'm probably not going to need. There's a fine sleeping bag. My Firmarest Neo Air X Lite, aka Chris Packet. My seat is some pillow. And over there is my kitchen, so we'll go around and have a look at that. Well, when I say kitchen, it's more like a food stash. So we've got a day of porridge, coffee, two army ration meals. Two cans of Galahad Vaga, best you can buy. Two cans of Jack Daniels and honey. Nice banana, half a bag of M&Ms. And that's about it. 
There's me radio in the middle. Might put that on there. On my little sight mat and my little table. Quite happy just sitting on the grass. Yeah, not bad. Right, so this is basically what I'm thinking of taking on the Cumbrian Way. Um, that's mat packed down really small. Personally, I don't think it's the best mat for comfort, but it does the job. Me, um, see the summit X Light Extreme, or whatever it's called. That big boy, it's a lot heavier and a lot bigger, but it's a lot more comfortable. But yeah, that'll do. It's all about, you know, saving on a few grams if you're doing a multi day hike, I think. Um, things that I'm toying with, I always toy with bring, bringing with us, and I don't. Um, a tripod, a proper type tripod for my camera. I don't know how guys, what you think about the footage I do. Is it okay on the little handheld tripod? Um, I've been looking at the seats. Like, you know, I'm, I'm on about the proper wild camping seats, if you like. Not the, not the sort of cheap ones you take in the car when you go camping. You know which ones I mean. But it's a bit of a minefield. Um, on average, it probably weigh about one kilogram. Um, different different reviews. Some say, you know, they sing it in the ground. Some don't sing in the ground. Some are stronger than the others. Some are lighter than the others. So, I don't know. It's it's one of them things I've done without all this time. And I've managed. But I must admit, like now, sitting here, you know, sitting in a comfortable chair, probably would be nice. But is it worth hiking it up the hills? I don't know. And I think, you know, the good ones are about 60, 70 pounds. So if you've got any recommendations of a cheaper one, let us know in the comments. I know Aldi do one. Uh, I think they're about 30 pounds. They weigh about one and a half kilograms, is it? So, getting on to go get the tent. You know, is it worth it? For you guys who have bought them, do you actually use them? Or do you just leave them at home? Um, so yeah. Also, another thing I haven't got, Again, I don't know whether I need or not. It's like a little pop-up bowl, a pop-up cup. I've got my little enamel mug there, and it does the job. So I'm thinking, well, if it works, why change it? But, we'll see anyway. Look at this, though. Lovely blue sky. <laughs> big dark cloud. What is it with this hill? Last time I camped there, a big dark cloud came. <laughs> it just... Chucked it down for about 20 minutes. So I don't know if that's just mist or whether it's rain. It's not forecast to rain. But tense up now, so it please itself. But someone hasn't brought any waterproofs. <laughs> but hey, look at this though. Isn't this magical man? Yeah. So I'm gonna open a beer and just sit and chill and I really really hope. We'll get a sunset. I've even set my alarm for like half past four. Half past four, you know. Just to see if I can get a nice sunrise for you. That's how dedicated I am to this channel. Half past four in the morning, eh? I might just press the snooze button a few times to go back to sleep, like, but we'll see. But right, okay, I'm rambling again. Aren't I? Made up for it. But. Ta da!
I've just been sitting here listening to the tunes. It's getting on about quarter past nine now. Uh, that's the sort of sun setting so far. Nothing too spectacular, so we'll see what happens. So we're just going to have some tea. I've had one can of lager. I'm going to have some tea and then just sit back and relax. Got my little radio going on. It's a hot classic F on FM. That's good. So yeah, done some drone footage. Looks like, I don't know if you can see it. It's sort of there between them trees looks like a um, body of water I'm not sure what that is looks like a lake or something on the top I'll have to check my maps in the morning but it might just be an illusion an illusion there we go oh look at that that's my room with a view for tonight get probably falling away there so the orange is starting to fill up. Do a boilometer. Right, we'll uh, get some tea and come back later. Good morning, it is half past four on a Saturday morning, uh, only woke up because my alarm went off to have a look at the sunrise, slept really well, um, I think I fell asleep about 11 last night, uh, woke up once during the night just to use the local facilities and uh, yeah, apart from that it was nice and warm comfy it's a good success right we'll see what this sunrise has got to offer I don't expect much as it is forecast to be cloudy but just bear with us a second It really the sunrise of the morning it's just coming up now it's forecast to be another hot day so we might put a little time lapse on and watch the sun come up More and coffee's on. GoPros doing the time lapse of that lovely sunlight. It's five to five. Let's go have a coffee. So I'll pack them up. Let's have a slow walk back down to the car. It's about an hour's walk. And then about an hour's drive home. Right. I'm just filming this on my phone. My GoPro's busy. The time lapse. Yeah, that's it. Just setting the tent dry out a little bit. Everything else is packed. We'll get the tent wrapped up, put away, and head down there towards the car. Well, guys, that's it. Another camp done. Another month. So I'm really getting out this year and I cannot wait for the next one. That's where we camped there. Nothing but flat grass and lovely views. So I'm going to head back down the car now. There's not really a lot to film. So I think I'll say goodbye from here. Thanks for joining us. 
Um, really enjoyed that one. Very comfortable. My kit worked well. And uh, yeah, you know, the stuff I'm using now is working. I'm over the moon. And uh, yeah, and take that one off as being a really enjoyable camp in a beautiful place. So on that note, I'll say farewell and we'll be back again soon.